Hey, it's Colin Hegarty. I am the program director of the Health Partners Institute in Regions Hospital Emergency Medicine Residency Program in St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm also the co-chair of the CORD Slow Committee. And with the release today of the new letter that we came up with called the OSLO, which stands for the Other Off-Service um, Letter of Evaluation, I thought this would be a great time to put a little information out there that hopefully will help programs and uh, academic faculty that might have questions about this. And certainly this is designed for students that might have questions about all the different letters right now as well. So I thought what I'd start with is just give you a quick intro to the OSLO and then I'll break down the other type of letters that we have in EM and um, leave you with some frequently asked questions I've heard from people already and hopefully this will be really helpful for everybody heading into this application season. So the OSLO uh, was created to fill a gap um, knowing that this application season students aren't going to get as many typical slows. So you're not going to get to do as many classic emergency medicine rotations at an academic or residency site. So with that in mind, to help students be able to get letters that will be valuable and to help programs um, be able to get information that will help them during application season, we created the OSLO, uh, which is really mirrored from the current letters that are out there and just modified slightly to add things that might be more specific to your off-service rotations. Um, that would include things like internal medicine, surgery, psychiatry, neurology, family medicine, whatever rotation you'd like to get it from. So that's the, the OSLO. It's posted now on the CORD website and it's available for letter writers to start using. Let me um, just get into the other type of letters we have in the EM really quickly and then give you kind of my uh, version of I think what are, are good tips for you to, to know heading into this year and some questions I've had asked. So the other letters that are out there for emergency medicine, there's the ESLO. The ESLO is kind of our classic letter for emergency medicine. That's the one written by emergency medicine faculty from academic or residency programs. Most years, students would get anywhere from one on the low end to two to three as kind of the average um, of the ESLO in their file. This year with the limitations on student rotations and with applications and recommendations from national organizations to limit the number of EM rotations students are doing, um, the norm this year is going to be one. So the norm will be to get one ESLO for this year. Other letters that are out there for emergency medicine uh, include slows for subspecialty rotations. So say you do a rotation in toxicology, EMS, pediatric emergency medicine, ultrasound. We created a letter a few years ago that you can use um, to get a letter of recommendation from one of those um, rotations. And then the last slow that's out there is a slow for non-academic emergency physicians. So this would be someone that works in a community uh, emergency department. They do not work directly uh, with an emergency medicine residency. And um, it's a great letter for them to use to, to uh, evaluate a student from a student rotation at that kind of a site. Uh, commonly, it could be from medical schools that have EM rotations but don't have a residency right there. That's probably the most common uh, use of that letter, but also we'll see people in cities where they have academic programs and also community programs, and students might have the ability to rotate at both, so it's, it's fine to get that letter from a community site as well. So those are the different type of letters that we have in emergency medicine. So heading into this year then, what's, what's the recommendation or what should students be shooting for? Most students are going to have one ESLO. So that, um, hopefully you'll be able to rotate at a site that has an emergency medicine residency and you can get one letter from that rotation. In addition, I would probably recommend that you try to get as many uh, slows as you can from the other rotations you've done. If you did subspecialty rotations, ask for the slow from a subspecialty rotation. And then if you've done off-service rotations and want to get letters from those, that's what the O slow is designed for now. So say you're going to get four letters in your file. One could be an E slow from your EM residency or academic rotation. Um, if you did a subspecialty rotation, you might get one from there, and then maybe you'll have two O slows in your file as well. So that might be something to kind of strive for. That might be kind of the norm this year for uh, EM applicants. So questions that I've had from people. Um, well, what if you are a reapplicant for emergency medicine? Is it okay to use more than one ESLO? Absolutely. Our, our uh, recommendations are really to limit student rotations for this year and it's specific to this cycle, but whatever your application was from last year, feel free to use um, those letters from last year. 
And what I'd probably recommend is just recommend is include that in your personal statements. So we understand why you have more letters in there. Another uh, question is, say you're a student from this year applying and you just happen to already do two EM rotations at residency sites before COVID hit, um, can you get two EM letters from those rotations? I know the recommendations are just to get one, but if you were able to complete two rotations, which is not going to be the norm, I think it would be okay to ask for e slows from those rotations and then just include that in your personal statement why you have more than one e slow. Um, I think of uh, a lot of cities, similar to Minneapolis and St. Paul, where we have multiple EM programs, have the ability to do something that we're going to uh, try to create um, this year in the e slow, and that's to combine letters from programs into one letter. So say here in Minnesota, you're a student that gets to rotate at Hennepin County Medical Center and Regions Hospital. Most years you would get an e slow from each one of those rotations and residency programs. But this year we're going to combine and do one e slow from um, those two programs. And I would suggest that other larger cities that have multiple academic or residency sites do the same. And that will help to limit the number of e slows for this year as well. Uh, so you're a military applicant and you rotate at multiple sites for that reason. You will get multiple letters and that's okay to do as well. Again, that's something that you might want to include in your personal statement so we understand why you have more than one e slow um, for this year. Um, other questions that I've been asked um, about the Oslo would really include, uh, I already asked a letter writer to write my letter. Um, what should I do? Maybe in the last couple of months, they already asked a, a non-emergency physician to write a letter of recommendation. What I'd recommend to those students is go ahead and ask them, say, hey, have you already written my letter? Uh, if you haven't, I would love it if you write it in this new Oslo format and then get them that information. If they have already written the letter, you can always ask them if they'd be willing to transfer the letter to the new format. It really would not take a lot of work on their end to do that. And I think knowing that this application season is going to be so um, complex, I would hope that a lot of um, faculty and medical schools would be willing to do that for you. But say it's uh, faculty and they say, you know, I already did the letter and I'm done. That's okay. You know, we're going to be able to make it work. Our goal in emergency medicine and with applications this year is to try to reduce stress and anxiety for students and to try to make something that's reasonable and helpful for applications for students and for programs as well. So that's what the goal is of this. So if you if you happen to already have letter writers that have already done the letters and they're not willing to change it to the new format, that's going to be totally fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, we will try to get more frequently asked questions uh, posted and answered on the CORD SLOW website. So look there for more information. As we get questions asked to us, we can try to update that area and make sure that we're getting things clearly out to um, the users. And um, if you have any questions, you can directly ask me as well. So good luck with everything. Hopefully this is um, a little bit clarifying for both people in emergency medicine on the program side and also on the student side as well. Thanks.